హలో వెల్కమ్ టు రెడీస్ హ్యాకథాన్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ బిల్ట్ రియల్ టైమ్ గ్రాఫ్ క్యూఆర్ యూజింగ్ రెడీ స్ట్రీమ్స్ అండ్ రెడీ సర్చ్ ఐ విల్ డెమో హౌ ఇట్ వర్క్స్ బట్ లెట్ ఎస్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ బిన్ డెప్లాయిడ్ ఇన్ హీరోకు సో యూ కెన్ హిట్ దిస్ యూఆర్ఎల్ అండ్ ప్లే ఆన్ ద ప్లే గ్రౌండ్ let's look at the high level architectures this is how the high level architecture looks like and the graphql api which is implemented using spring boot and in java which is backed by redis enterprise using redis search modules and the redis stream and the redis hash data structure the data flows from left to right from graphql um to again to graphql that's um that create update delete customers are all using redis stream redis search redis hash data structures to store to search to store events and they are all being uh, pushed to graphql subscription or by graphql queries um to find customers to find um the data inside redis enterprise database so let us look at how it works go to this tab or you click you can click that link and then click this link and then it will get you here um here copy paste the whole cut paste the whole content this one would uh, subscribe events from the beginning i did create few customers so we can see how it works um when the app is bootstrapped so we can see this customers has been created from the when the app is started go to the tab number 2 cut paste uh, here we are saying listen for the new events not um, not from the beginning so this one would listen for all the new ones these ones are all using websocket graphql subscription um over web socket and using redis stream data structure so all the events are pushed to the redis stream and we can see uh, on the redis inside uh, you can browse through the existing data and here we can see those events as well we can see those ones so this is a very useful tool to look at things uh, let us go back to here so this one still waiting and uh, we'll go here copy or cut the whole content and paste it there is an there is an bug or an, an issue in uh, in the playground so you have to do that otherwise it doesn't going to work as we expecting um create customer click this one and create customer it creates the customer you can go and see here that it has we can see that event is coming through and uh, think about the client number 2 which is only listening for the new ones and it, it can see the new event being uh, for the latest event being pushed to this uh, client and let us update this customer and uh, if we go here you have you do have to scroll down and you can see this customer has been updated and here we would we got the same event over here and um, let us delete this cus- one one customer for number id 2 and uh, if i go over here we can see this customer deleted event uh, and same here as well on number tab 2 and uh, this one to find all the customers we created uh, six and then we deleted two so we won't see that and this ones to uh, you can find particular one um update the key 6 um if you don't find one it would uh, display an error so this one to find uh search for all the uh, all the um content which has which contains um alphabet a so we can see this one and which is sorted by uh, by name so if you want you can go here you can monitor those uh, in the cli monitor and i t o r so we can see the if we use search 
and if I go here, oh, or oh, not supported, that's uh, okay. So that's good to know. Or you can go here, we can monitor. Um, I'm just connected to that database so we can see those ones coming. Um, yeah. And um, here, it, the one it starts with red. Okay, I'm going to find the ready search again. So, yeah, this is the project and it has been deployed in Heroku. You can see the logs coming through and um, yeah, that's about it. Play, play with the project. Thank you.